Hello everybody, my name is Veloprint and welcome back to yet another react video. Today we're going to be reacting to another video from The Rubber. I have a few more videos I need to react to him that came out over the last two weeks since I last recorded those reaction videos. I will get those up and I'm going to also be reacting to some more episodes from SCP Explained, SC he Stories of the Foundation. I do have more videos from them to react to and I'll also be reacting to another SCP YouTuber called Dr. Bob. I've been watching his videos for a while now, but I haven't watched some of his latest ones, especially one that literally came out last night. So I'll be getting to those soon, but right now we're going to be reacting to another SCP from Rubber. It is called S Super uh, Superhero Wannabe SCP-2241. I have not ever looked at this one so this is gonna be a first time experience looking at this scp if you guys enjoyed my reaction videos to these scp foundation videos let me know in the comment section what you guys want me to react to and i think i actually got a request the other day i need to look at that when i also just got another request for another reaction video but i'll check those out and i'll get those done as soon as possible and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into this bad boy in three two one Boom. Viewer discretion is advised. In a long-range surprise attack by robotic mortar, 2241 became enraged and caught a mortar bomb before throwing it back to the launcher at approximately 1.4 times the speed of sound. Hello Jeez. everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today we bring you SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object SCP-2241. Okay, before it, the sh uh, rubber shows what SCP-2241 is, I'm going to assume it's some form of anomalous child who wants to be a superhero that's my assumption scp-2241 also known as cameron the crusader is a seven-year-old brown-haired boy who possesses okay, minor telekinetic abilities kid. additionally he is also showing signs of a latent reality bending ability 2241 is to be good. kept in a standard humanoid containment cell so that the SCP Foundation can learn to understand his powers and use them to develop more superheroes. <laughs> to be specific, the heroes of the SCP Foundation, SCP heroes, come into a GameStop near you. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to do specific, that. Specific two two four one is able to manipulate objects he can see and those that are within approximately six meters of him. Wow. In addition to this, manipulated objects may teleport or become slightly altered implying a more general reality bending ability okay. to the foundation 2241 is considered a good candidate for long-term or intensive research into telekinesis reality bending specifically and anomalous humanoids generally really in his containment do they do cross tests with with 2241 with other humanoid anomalies so 2241 is to be allowed access to television and comic books but may be denied access to said items as punishment, if required, as his cooperation is considered essential to long-term containment. Personnel are to call 2241 by his given name, Cameron. Currently, okay. the leading theory among Foundation researchers is that 2241 will develop stronger or additional anomalous abilities as he ages. As such, it is considered essential to long-term containment and research that 2241 believes he is working with the Foundation and that the Foundation is a safe place for him. Below is a video okay. log documenting the events while researcher Valdez was trying to gain... Is he cooperative? That's the one... So, wait, no, he, they, just said, they just said that he's cooperating with the Foundation because he believes he's doing something good for the Foundation. 2241's trust. Cameron. Can you tell me what was happening when the fire team found you? Fire team? You mean the soldier guys? Yeah. That's right. I was trying to help that lady. Why were you helping her? She looked scared. The bad guy had a gun. She was trying to run away. Someone had to help her. But why did you have to help her? Why not run and call the police? Superheroes have to help people. I can move things without touching them and other people can't, so I should use that to help them. That's very good of you, Cameron. Have you helped anyone else like this? No, I've only ever practiced, like in the woods and stuff. Has anyone ever caught you practicing? I don't think so. I tried to keep it secret, but sometimes people go for walks in the woods and they might have seen me, but I don't think so. Okay, that's good. Okay. What kinds of things can you do? I can move stuff without touching it, but not if it's too far away or if it's too big. Only like a cup across a room or a person's arm or something. 
sometimes it can kind of change as well. What do you mean by change, Cameron? Sometimes when I'm moving something, it changes into something I want. Like one time when I was moving a stone, it turned into a toy that I lost. But it changed back after a while. Before so do hit these changing abilities that he acquires, do they only turn into things that he either rem that he remembers? That would be interesting if that was if that was the case. I even got home. Have you ever changed something on purpose? Not really. Sometimes when I hear my parents yelling, I wish they'd stop and get distracted for a little bit. But they usually go back to arguing. Do your parents fight often? No, not really. They don't mean to be angry. Do they ever get angry at you? Sometimes daddy says it's my fault. I should just try harder. Mommy gets mad when my room is messy, but I try to keep it clean. I don't want her to be mad. It's okay, Cameron. You, you, you're you okay here. Th thank you. You know, ordinary people wouldn't understand these powers. And some other people with powers might try to hurt you. Yeah, heroes have to have a secret identity. Did you have a superhero name to protect your identity? I'm Cameron the Cru Crusader. That's a cool name, Cameron. Because of this danger, you're going to be staying here with the SCP Foundation for a while. Do you have any questions? What does SCP mean, mister? It means secure, contain, protect. So it fights bad guys like S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Avengers. That's right, Cameron, like the Avengers. 2241. Uh to an extent, the SCP Foundation fights evil, but sometimes it thinks that the SCP Foundation is not entirely evil like um like 999 he that that's a perfect thing of slime is not evil at all uh what's the other ones that i know of that are not bad at all i don't know any actually that many all right well i'll try and do some more research on that appears to trust researcher valdez and believes that the foundation is attempting to help him as much as possible 2241 may have experienced abuse at the hands of his parents, leading to the possibility of developing into a full-scale reality bender. Following several recent rounds of O5-approved rapid-fire testing with innocent bystanders and 2241's personal belongings, 2241 has developed many further abilities consistent with reports of late-stage telekinetic reality benders. Wow. 2241 can now consistently teleport itself along with other matter. Additionally, it can act upon information received from several seconds in the future and move or transform matter within 12 meters without directly viewing it. Wow. Hitherto unrecorded abilities such as self-duplication are also present. In a test, 2241 appeared to absorb the energy of a bomb at the time of detonation. This mechanism is not well understood, but is believed to be a transformation of kinetic energy to some form of equivalent potential energy. Furthermore, the Foundation had also discovered a bomb within 2241's personal belongings. After the discovery, 2241 became enraged and teleported the bomb a great distance into the sky before it detonated. Oh, he wow. took some time to calm down, repeatedly exclaiming, No one can take my things. It's not fair. I'm strong. I'm the Crusader. Wow. One time, 2241 was found stealing a box from the Foundation modified bank vault. 2241 managed to teleport in, take the box, and slow down the Foundation sensors after tripping them before they could transmit a motion detection. This was only discovered wow. upon later analysis. For this clear violation of causality, 2241 expressed no concern about his activities of dubious morality, a clear change from the day he spoke with researcher Valdez. In a long-range surprise attack by robotic mortar, 2241 became enraged and caught a mortar bomb before throwing it back to the launcher at approximately 1.4 times the speed of sound. Wow. 2241 is clearly less precise in his abilities and more violent when angry. I hate them. I'm a Foundation Avenger and I hate the bad guys. And I'm gonna fight them all. In another test... It seems like they are, some of the tests that the SCP Foundation is putting on him is also putting uh, stress on him because he's also still a kid. So the way the kid 
The experience that a kid receives when they're little will reflect upon their adult life. So in actuality, is the SCP Foundation accidentally turning him into a villain? Is my question. Probably by accident, but... Two civilians were held hostage in rooms connected with a bulletproof glass window by enemies with guns. 2241 was informed of these impenetrable windows and that the hostages could not be teleported without physical contact. To rescue the two hostages, he duplicated himself and teleported both hostages to the Foundation command post simultaneously before returning to capture both enemies. 2241 reported nausea afterward, but no other ill effects. Maybe creating a duplicate and maybe creating the duplicate and um, teleporting at the same time is too much of a strain on his uh, body because there's only a certain limit that the human body can, un can uh, undergo and he's still technically a human physically anyway so it would be too much on him for to the go final that far. test researcher Valdez wished to implant a monitoring chip into 2241 in order to control his abilities and manipulate him into helping the foundation. However, wow. the ethics committee and a few O5 councils disagreed with the action. Yeah, because it's unethical. He's still a child, technically. No matter what an SCP is, it's still what it looks like and what it represents is something else entirely. Implanting a monitoring chip into a child this young cannot be done without significant developmental damage in later years. This will cause catastrophic problems for both the child and long-term containment, given his well-developed capabilities. Additionally, deploying a child in combat, even under testing conditions, violates all moral norms. These tests are more important than one SCP regardless of whether it looks like a child. We now know which parts of the brain deal with certain anomalous abilities. With more detail, we can see how. We may even learn how to induce these abilities and we will definitely learn how to neutralize them. I believe the results will justify both the risks and the means. We are closer than ever to understanding the mechanism by which human brains interact with extra-normal phenomena. In addition, due to the new modification of the monitoring hardware, 2241 can be neutralized quickly should it become a threat at any time after the surgery. Testing reinstated by majority overseer vote following emergency council meeting. Research for Valdez it? exonerated. Testing will go ahead, assuming no they complications. Went ahead with it? Remember to check out my new oh. animation channel, The Rubber Talks. I didn't realize how long far into the video we were. So they actually. So wait, did they go ahead with his idea in the end? If so, that's pretty messed up. Because he is still a child, regardless what of what he is. But, um. Yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Um, all right. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this new video, uh, SCP Foundation episode. I'm going to be reacting uh, to two more rubber videos that I didn't react to when they came out. Because literally after I posted the first video of this month, the first reaction video, literally... Hours after that video went up, a new video from Rubber came out, so I haven't watched that one yet. And then, and that's about SCP-105, which is the girl. I don't know her, what they call her, but I'm going to find out very soon. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, guys. And I will see you all in the next reaction video. Bye!